Bizarre bars. Bizarre bars. We're bizarre bars. And tell us a little bit about that. We make all natural date and nut bars inspired by Middle Eastern desserts. So our flavors are a little bit unique. Um, definitely a little bit different than the other date bars that you might have tried out there. And tell us what your flavors are. A little bit more fun. We've got a sesame pistachio vanilla bar right here. It's really good. It's inspired by a dessert called halva. What country is that from? Uh, it's from all over the Middle East. Okay. So a lot of countries make that dessert. Uh -huh. It's a sesame fudge. The thing about halva though is it's literally half sugar. It's half sesame, half sugar. We don't put any added sugar in our bars. Mm -hmm. All the sweetness comes from the dates. Oh, I love date sugar, yeah. Tell us your other flavors. We got a black seed anise almond bar right here. Uh huh. This one's got a very nice, sweet, refreshing flavor. It's inspired by a date cookie that's really popular in the Middle East. And then finally, we've got our coffee cacao cardamom bar. That one's like an Arabian mocha. Very good. We also put almonds in that one. And the All cardamom right. gives it a very unique flavor. All right. And uh, if they come by, who should they ask for? What's your name? I'm Noor. Oh. Or you might see my brother at another farmer's market, either Ocean Beach or Little Italy or Lucadia or Hillcrest. His name is Eid. All right. It's like Reed, but without the R. And you're a San Diego company, Bazaar Bars? Yes, sir. We're based in San Diego. We make all our bars in a commercial kitchen right here. Tell us about your business. Oh, hi. My name is Kuzonse. Uh, our business is uh, Mozambican diffusion food, uh, Mozambique, Southeast Africa. Uh, and so we have some, I can show you a little bit here. Uh, we have some spicy chicken stew, and we also have some peanut chicken curry. Uh, these are our vegetarian items, uh, black eyed peas and kale, broccoli and sweet potato. It all comes with rice. We have other vegetarian uh, options as well, but today we did not bring them. Um, yeah. So how fun is it bringing these kind of East uh, South African delicacies to uh, San Diego here? I mean, uh, uh, it's great. Uh, it's it's a great way for people to kind of get a taste of our culture, and I love just talking to people about my culture. Uh, I just met a lady here from San Diego. She just came from Kenya, and she was. And I've never been to Kenya, so there's always those connections with people. So I enjoy it. And you make this in a commercial. Uh Kitchen, yes, uh -huh. yes. My friend owns the business. He's from Mozambique. Okay. I'm from Zambia. Okay. Uh, so he makes the food. Today he's not here. Today he took a day off. Who's awesome. on say? Awesome. This stuff smells so good. <laughs> it is so good. Uh, can I give you gentlemen a sample? I would us, love a sample. Just a, just a spoonful or something? Or just no, just to go. Okay. Because I, I can't just give samples, unfortunately. Okay. Okay. To go. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Do you eat chicken? Oh uh, yeah. Here. Yeah, Bob. Where she's giving us some food, but I'm gonna pay, Bob. I'm gonna pay. Don't get, don't get on me, Bob. Our old friends from Wipeout Coffee. They are good enough to grace us in Ocean Beach, and I see they're expanded all the way out here to PB. And I know you're from Encinitas, right? Yes. Yeah. Encinitas. Encinitas. For, for people that don't know about Wipeout, let's cover it one more time. Tell us about Wipeout. Uh, Wipeout is like. One of the best coffees in San Diego. Uh, we freshly roast it every week in Oceanside. And we are like one of the best organic coffee you can ever try. <laughs> Ryan, do you have like strengths or, or flavors or what do you got? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We have different countries. As you can see, we have like Costa Rica, Guatemala, Colombia, Peru, Ethiopia, and Espresso. All right. And I can explain you each one if you want. Yeah, like, sure. People love coffee. Costa Rica is more like bright, fruity flavor. Then we have Guatemala, that is like chocolate nati. We have Colombia, bold and smooth. Peru is like more like medium dark, earthy. And then we have like Ethiopia chocolatey creamy and then we go to most dark that is espresso with the like bold and smooth and we have like some decaf that is Colombia yeah and you don't have to get that burnt flavor from Starbucks <laughs> no 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 <laughs> this is local fresh and really good quality another level right. for sure thank we you love white bath coffee. thank you so much sir thank you. oh god it's our friend from tea, tea bazaar Tom what are you guys doing? we're just hanging out we're doing a we're 
experiencing the Pacific Beach uh, Farmer's Market because we do a live stream. We have a live stream company oh, cool. and we're from Ocean Beach Living. That's our Facebook page and our uh, yeah. YouTube yeah. channel. Yeah. But we do, we started at the Ocean Beach Farmer's Market. We said yeah. maybe people want to see other farmer's markets. So yes. we're going to go do live streams at the farmer's markets. Our old friends from T Bazaar, we know they're from OB. Yeah. Or yeah. We've, talk to them in Ocean that's Beach. That's the, the farmer's market I'm most familiar with. I live in OB. So yeah, so tell us, compare one. the two. Oh, God. That's Don't what we put need. me on the spot. Um, well, actually, you're on live, so. <laughs> oh, oh, gosh. I love them both. They're amazing. I have nothing bad or good to say. They're, They're different, though, right? They are. They are very different. I think different demographics, right? OB versus PB. I think the OB one is really big, plus you have the retail, so the vintage little market that they do in Apple Tree. But other than that, I think they're relatively compared. Oh, and they have really good food at the OB one. Not but to they say have they different stuff, too. They, well, they have different see, vendors. Yeah, that I is mean, true. I see tea bazaar everywhere I go. But. <laughs> that is true. And see, that one's my pleasure. This one's kind of my work. I work right here. So I'm only at this one for like 10 minutes. So oh, really? Okay. The OB one, I spend all my time. So. Tell us a little about Tea Bazaar for those that don't know. Yeah, of course. Uh, we're a loose leaf uh, tea company. We uh, mainly go for organic uh, tea blends. Um, one of our most popular is the Don't Worry Be Happy. It has spearmint, eucalyptus, chamomile, St. John's wort, ashwagandha, and skullcap. Uh, it's very relaxing. Uh, it's uplifting. Uh, most of our teas we blend in-house. Uh, some of them we get pre-blended. Um, but yeah, it's it, you know it's a world of tea and all, all of them heal and uh, so I got a problem yeah whatever my problem is you got a tea yes yes <laughs> definitely we can we can match it yeah it, I'm lonely I need a girlfriend you got we we got <laughs> love potion we got love potion for you that, that'll you know you, you you make a tea for anybody and they'll love you right away there you go. yeah it's the it's the rose petals in that one for oh, sure. it's the rose petals that get it going, huh? Yeah, exactly. Give a girl a rose, you know? She'll, she'll love you. All right. I love that. <laughs> Who are we talking to? Daniel. Daniel. Daniel Henderson, yeah. Thank you so much, Daniel. Thank you guys we so much. Your product. Yeah, of Take course. Take one more closer look. Yeah. yeah. I'm hungry. I'm hungry, hungry, hungry. Look at the bakery. Yeah, it has fun. Oh. No, now. Now, Mom. Come on. Get back here. Do the bakery. You look like a Pacific Beach local, dude. Me? Yeah. I'm French, actually. French? Yeah, I'm Where French. French. That's why Paris. Oh, wow. Are you visiting or are you... No, I live here. Uh-huh. What's the benefits of living here other than Paris, huh? Well, you can check which uh, restaurants and bakery are real French or not. Oh, okay, and okay. what do you think? Oh, <laughs> okay, we have okay. a spy. I'm mix. not going to get in trouble. Okay, don't it's get in really trouble. It's really good, dog. It's really good. Tell us about what you got there. Beautiful. Tell us what's in the case here. So here, this is our pistachio cream puff. It has pistachio and mascarpone cream with pistachio praline and some roasted pistachios. This is our chocolate and salted caramel tart. The base is chocolate, then I get some salted caramel, dark chocolate ganache, and then a milk chocolate ganache. And then this is our apple tart. It's gluten-free. The base is almond cream and apples, and then it's a vanilla mousse with caramel and apples on the inside. This is our lemon tart. It's also gluten-free. The base has almond cream and lemon zest, and then it's a lemon jelly, a lemon cream, and then a hazelnut cream on the inside. And we actually use the lemons from the farmers right over there to make the lemon tart. And then down here, I have my mini trio. It's a small version of my pistachio, my, my chocolate and salted caramel, and my lemon hazelnut. And then over here, I have all of my croissants. I did run out of my almond already, but I have the chocolate, the butter, the apple, and then I have vegan croissants as well. Right now, I only have my chocolate and my regular. And then on the bottom, I have a prosciutto baguette. It's a sandwich with prosciutto, Swiss cheese, and arugula on a baguette. Yeah. Tell us about the Pacific Beach Farmer's Market. How cool is oh, it? Oh, awesome. Do you come here often? Yeah, every, every Tuesday. Is it getting better? I mean, do they add oh, people? Oh, it is. I think they add people because it's extended all the way on the other side. Right. So for people that aren't familiar with the market here, what's your advice? Where should they go? Oh, everywhere. I mean, you know, I usually start from here and go all the way and take the one side around and go back here. So they have pretty much anything that you need. Like the most important things, you see like stands from each. Tell us about your cheese, man. No, what beautiful actually. Um, we do this farmer market for many, many years and we import some uh, cheese from Europe. Eastern Europe, that's why we have French cheese. We have some uh, Dutch, uh, Swiss, any kind of stuff. And everybody can, um, you know what I mean, have a sample and, um, and taste every flavor. Well, tell me about Mimolet. Mimolet is a type of uh, French cheese. It's like uh, our cheese, type of Parmesan. And you can use the same way like a Parmesan. Oh, like hard grated. Yeah, grated on a pasta or cooked with. Oh, yeah. 
Coconut Gouda? Yes, my man. There's a coconut flavor on it. It's like a Gouda, double cream Gouda, made with a coconut flavor. It's very nice. Do you want to try? Uh, yes. I'd yes, like to try you if can that's try. possible. Yeah, like, that's cool. All right, man. And, and if people come by, what's the name of your company? This is the company name. You say for Marjorie by Frank. Okay. I'm Frank, and oh. actually, usually, it's my son, Robin. So if they come by, they should look for Frank or Robin. Frank or Robin, hey. All right, bonjour, monsieur. Bonjour, bonjour, comment ça va? Oh, très bien, et tu? Yeah, très, très bien, merci. Hein? What's your name, sir? Uh, my name is uh, Farouk. Tell us about what you got going here, man. Uh, I got the best yogurt, best yogurt in town. It's kefir yogurt. I got... So I thought kefir was something you drink. Yes, actually, it's a, actually it's a grain. So. But we make it yogurt. I have those are cow's milk here, babe. Oh, so you got yogurt and kefir. Yeah, and it's very creamy. I'm gonna show you here. Okay, we're gonna get some cream going here. This is the chocolate. Look oh at that. my lord. Oh wow. It's to, it's to die for. It's to die. It's to die for. <laughs> <laughs> Tell us about the kefir. Uh, so it's, yeah, it's very healthy. Just three ingredients right here. It's pasteurized milk, the fruit, and then we put pro probiotics. It's a uh, kefir cheese. And yeah, it's really good. People like it, and they keep coming. And so, is it is kefir French? Actually, it's not. I think it's uh, more like Eastern Europe. This looks like a lady that knows her yogurt. Yeah. I think so. What do you think? <laughs> Looking good? Yes. Have you had this stuff before? I have. It tells people about it who don't know. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's very good. It's like kind of like when you compare eating burrata to mozzarella when you go out. It's comparing that to regular yogurt. That's how creamy and thick and It looks like gelato it compared to ice cream. It's true. It's like true. thicker. Yeah, it is. And since so the ice cream you can do like here for yogurt, it's like more healthy. Yeah, it's ice like cream. More, yeah. <laughs> you get probiotics. So it's a, you could actually use it as a dessert? You can, yeah, of course. You can use it as dessert. You can eat it in the morning. Um, you know, you can have some like savory ones too here. You can cook with it. Have here like mint jalapeno, mint and dill, sun dried tomatoes. We put on stuff, crackers, on bread, tortillas, on salmon. All right, we're gonna let you do a little business here. We don't want to keep Thank you. business. Yeah, uh, we're Edible Alchemy. We make uh, everything we make is plant based and fermented. So we've got quite an array of products actually. Everything from uh, fermented vegetables and sauerkrauts. I've got a cultured coconut yogurt. I've got uh, kombucha based tonics with uh, medicinal herbs and adaptogens. And then uh, we've got mushroom tinctures, CBD products, therapeutic creams. Uh, oh, you cover the gambit. Are you San Diego company? Yes, sir. Tell us. We're in El Cajon. Oh, you're at El Cajon. Huh? Do you do other street fair, uh, farmers markets? Yeah, we are uh, at OB. Um, we're at pretty much all the major weekend markets around here, uh, La Jolla, Little Italy, Hillcrest. We've been working with a, like something, the mushrooms for example is really cool. So like, you know, it's been pretty interesting over the last couple of years, especially watching like, you know, five, five, six years ago, people come over and they're like, mushrooms, what? Like <laughs> fermented coconut, like what the hell are you guys doing? And then now people come over and go, oh, I saw this documentary about this and like, we as a culture are starting to wake up a little bit more and people are starting to like look back towards more natural healing modalities and um, and looking towards herbs and natural medicines and it's like there's a lot of publicity around it nowadays so it's, it's pretty it's amazing to me to see people come up to me now being like oh i know about this instead of being like what the hell is this right you know it's cool isn't it yeah and people look a lot healthier now i've been walking through this market for two blocks and people look so healthier. yeah <laughs> edible alchemy uh, edible alchemy okay and if they come by they should ask for dominic yeah yes sir awesome man my camera person tom zizzy's longest live shot ever <laughs> his hand is falling off even though we're using cell phones to go live here we really like what they're doing here this is our second farmer's market that we've done and the people here have been nothing but spectacular to us. So we want to thank and say goodbye. Bye-bye for now. So long.